All right, so patch notes uh, have dropped and um, I just woke up. These patch notes, sorry, not patch notes, dev notes, uh, dropped eight hours ago, literally the minute I went to bed. Uh, very funny, very funny, Grand Cross. Uh, <laughs> so I'm a bit, a bit late. But I took a little sneak peek of this and... Uh, mm. Labyrinth, finally finally talking about it so uh yeah let, let, let's read all and uh i'm hoping that i actually haven't read what the uh, labyrinth part says but i hope that it says that it's next update so uh it's august and it's hot and humid day and night it really is <laughs> i'm assuming he mainly talk, it's talking about korea and japan uh like asia but it is here as well in europe so um it lo looks like it's a time when you need proper rest and physical condition management so that you don't lose your health in the heat. Anyways, new content, Underground Labyrinth update. We have finalized the name of the BV contents Underground Lab Labyrinth, which was announced in the developer notes in July, and are currently proceeding with final testing and balance adjustment ahead of the update. Since the Labyrinth is new permanent content, that will appear the, for the first time in a long time. We're preparing so that many players can enjoy it. Uh, PV con permanent PV content that can be entered from the battle menu and will be open for a certain period of time and will be operated as regular content with new Labyrinth updates. Okay, there's a picture of how it looks like. I'm assuming you pay, you know, 30 stamina up front and then you just... Uh, is that 50 Sasarpins? I can't see properly because the image just has no quality. Then you just play to get the rewards and stuff. I wonder if each individual battle also has a different reward. So for the way they said it, characters don't need to be leveled up and stuff. We'll see how that will work. As mentioned in the previous dev notes, um, if my parents said new players of Graco can enjoy it easily, uh, can enjoy it as a different direction from monster battles that have characteristics of high difficulty PvE content. For players that are new to Gra Grand Cross, uh, we prepare content that can be easily enjoyed with experiencing the combination and utilizing special tactics and skill of characters. Players that have already enjoyed Grand Cross will be able to once again feel the fun of challenging each stage while using their characters like when they first started playing. Okay. In particular, uh, Labyrinth is is uh, prepared so that you can enjoy the content and reward separately from the characters' development. Yeah, that's what I said. And I think this is what this text is saying. I, I can't read it, but it's saying like, oh, doesn't matter. It just so long as the characters SSR level 1 you can just bring it here. Um... It's scheduled to be updated in August. So it will not be this week. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But I actually was not expecting for it to be this week. Uh, this week, if you don't know, we're getting uh, Zaldris, you know, uh, patch notes tomorrow, Wednesday. I will be live on Twitch, uh, waiting for the patch notes to drop at 12 uh, Europe time. I just look up what time that is for you. <laughs> uh, I don't know what time that is anywhere else, uh, but like, you know, I think on their Twitter. No, it just says here, but yeah, like 12 Europe time, the patch notes drop. Um, and with that will be details for, of course, the new Zaldris and uh, whatever else is going to come on the new update, but clearly not Labyrinth. Hopefully will be uh, two weeks after that, because uh, that'll be like mid-August. Surely they won't wait for the last week of August, right? I mean, they could. Hopefully they don't. A new server boss battle update. Uh, new server boss battle, which was mentioned in the previous uh, developer notes, is also spurring <laughs> preparations. Uh, we want to provide players with an easy-to-challenge experience through the underground labyrinth, and a new server boss battle will be to demonstrate the powerful status and majesty of the super boss. Okay, interesting. Which is worthy of the initial name, Super Boss Battle. Um, okay. They're saying they are... Um, 
preparing it? Like, the, the preparations? What does that mean? Are they going to change the system? Uh, we're preparing to show the newly unveiled Super Boss Battle in slightly more developed form, from the con conventional Super Boss Battle. We plan to add new difficulty levels, a renewed reward system. Thank God, I hate the point system for, fi for Final Boss. It it's gotten old, man. And a more efficient reward acquisition method to make it a goal of players' challenges again. As I mentioned in the previous dev notes, uh, the new Super Boss Battle will be unveiled in s uh, several series with the theme of Archangels, and unlike the previous Super Boss, each season will have its own theme. Oh, it's only in September. Okay. So the, 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 the Archangels Super Boss is going to be in September. Okay, so next month. Interesting. Ancient Crusade event. Oh, is that the... <laughs> Ah, uh, that's the the event that was shit. <laughs> and then we all were like, ah, oh, this event is pretty bad. And they haven't brought back since. If I can, um, if I can go on my channel here, oh, and I can go on speed. I think I can find it. This one. Yeah, no one liked this event. Like no one cared for it. You can tell the views. No one cared for the event. It was a very bad event. Um. I was, it was held as an event where players select a faction, and advance battle, blah blah blah. Uh, however, we feel that the previous uh, event was not as satisfying as the players' expectations because it was limited in a situation where each faction battle and defense elements, contribution method, and participation motivation were insufficient. It was just really, like, lame. It, the event was just really lame. And you required so much stamina. Like, we already use so much stamina from so many other things. Like, have you farmed bird <laughs> just for funsies? Like, bro, it's like three stamina pots per run. <laughs> uh, we already use so much stamina for so many things. We need another event that uses even more stamina. That was the most costly event in the game. It is also true that there were uh, many in inefficient in the operation method. Uh, such as the accessible consumption of AP, AP being stamina, uh, that's how it's called in the Japanese version, to acquire contribution points and the participation where the players was low, even though it was a cooperative event. Uh, I don't know, I don't have the numbers, I don't know how many players actually played the event, but considering the views of my videos, I would say that not many people were playing. I, th I think most of the views came from people wanting to see how the event worked, like, because it was a new event, right? But not trying to get, like, uh, tactics from the video or anything like that, learning from the video or anything like that. After the event ended, we reflected on the part where the concept of Holy War did not work, uh, and we had to improve the content composition and operation aspects. While maintaining the concept of Holy War, we have decided to completely renew the composition and hold it again, and we're currently working on improvements. Okay. Newly improved event will be divided into separate areas so that both factions can fight against each other. Many players will be rewarded, such as uh, changes in the contribution method, faction buff elements, and rewards. Okay, so no, don't, no word on when, but they're working on it. And I hope, I, I remember also the rewards were pretty bad. So, so here's the thing, right? I feel like so many f times when they bring events, the worst part of the event is always the rewards. Like even if the even if the uh, the boss isn't like annoying to fight or anything, it's just I don't know why they they, they just been very stingy with rewards except for like the anniversary. Even on the anniversary, we got the bosses and everything dropped very good amount of rewards. Um, like this new crab boss that just dropped first arrow, so like the, the the milestone rewards that we got were really good. But for the most part, when you get events, it's just, the rewards are always really bad. Especially the shop. The shop is always, like, dreadful. Um, so I, I hope they realize that as well. Because not only the event has to be decent, but the rewards also have to be decent. Because if the event is decent, but the rewards aren't, people aren't going to play. Even if the event is good. So. Annihilation Battle. Simultaneous Repulsion Event. Oh, this is the, uh, I'm assuming, the, uh, the thing where you beat one uh, Annihilation Battle and then you completes all of them, I'm assuming. Many players have, have given uh, positive feedback that the burden of playing uh, raids has been reduced with the regards of simultaneous repel function uh, implemented as a new event. But this is only for the old raids. So, at the same time, we 
Uh, the function is only applied during specific event period, and the base Balmoth and uh, OG Demon, which must be played should train carries from age 100, um, can be repelled so intended, though they can't be. We receive an opinion that is appointed, that is was outside. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, the translation is really bad from Google Translate. Yeah, it was annoying that they weren't uh, a part of the system. First of all, we plan to temporarily extend the period, okay, even after the uh, celebration ends. Regarding the complete permanent installation and expansion of target annihilation battles, we will strive to deliver it as a rational function while adjusting the balance between reducing the burden of... Okay, so here's the thing. The problem with this... So if you don't know what I'm talking about here, there is a function now where if you do, like, let's say you spawn six red demons, right? You click the uh, done the auto function, and then you do one of the red demons, and it completes all six at once. In theory, this is a really great system for um, reducing the amount of time you have to do them all at once. But let's say, right, I have a friend that needs six red demons, and I spawn them for him. I'm still gonna have to individually do all six, right? The, the issue lies where um, raids are not a solo event. Raids are a co-op event, and raids are a thing where you, you can't infinitely spawn them either. So you require other people's raids to be able to farm it, right? So if, if, if let's say, you reduce the amount of people that are inviting other people by making so you only have to do one Belmoth a day uh, at your complete all three, or one OG Demon at your complete all three, that's going to reduce the amount of invites to those raids by uh, two thirds, <laughs> you know? That's going to be a big, big uh, drought of materials for people who are in need of them to be, uh, you know, invited. And that's a problem. Um, the simple solution is let us spawn infinite raids. And that would not be a bad thing. That would not be um, like a... <laughs> overflow of materials in the economy. You know why? Because whales already do that anyways with the funny raid method. We all, like, on stream, you see me when I farmed raids, and I don't farm right now because I don't need to. You know, SSR, I have, I have uh, more need of SSR pens than raid mats currently, but I farm raids infinitely by abusing a mistake, which was the, uh, the, the join function. And you know what? I still are. I'm still not over farmed because I can't over farm because the SSR pendants stop me from doing so, anyways. So, simple solution. Let me spawn infinite rates. And, you know, with this system, it could be a case where I spawn three Belmonts, three OG Demons. Then I have to, before I spawn more, I have to do those first, and then I can spawn more. So that I don't just like spawn like 20 OG demons and then do all at once, right? Simple solution. And uh, again, because I, I always think like, oh, when, when I when I request an update or when I give my opinion about an update, I always think, oh, would that be bad for the game, right? Would, would that be, uh, would that destroy the economy of the game? And uh, I don't think it would. Uh, a lo any any high tier player in this game uses the funny raid method that I like to call <laughs> uses the uh, the infinite raid method. So, <laughs> and those are the people that will be continuously spawning the raids anyways. I don't know. I will prepare a proposal for adjustment to this content in the next developments update. And here's the thing, right? Uh, even if you can spawn raids infinitely, there will still be a reason to join other people's raids, because it it would still cost you stamina to do the raid, opposed to if you get invited to a raid, it costs no stamina. So, uh, um, in any case, I'm very excited for Labyrinth. The, the, this has to be good, fellas. <laughs> it has to be. God damn it.